Retrocalcaneal bursitis is actually a diagnosis made by a diagnostic ultrasound scan or an MRI. It's very difficult to know if you have this unless you have some sort of imaging or a scan carried out. However, if you do have pain that's located on the insertion of the Achilles or just in front of the Achilles tendon, then that may mean that you've got a bursitis. And that's inflammation of the bursa, which is essentially a fluid-filled sac that sits between the bone and the tendon. Retrocalcaneal bursitis causes pain and swelling on the insertion of the Achilles tendon. It's quite common in those that are very active, so runners, those that play football, but also we do see it in those that are slightly less uh, active as well. The exact cause is not known and there are some predisposing factors as to why, why you may get it. But we see it an awful lot in those people that start what we call unaccustomed activity. So for example, if they've just started running without having a sufficient build-up of their load. It is difficult to diagnose a retrocalcaneal bursitis just from a clinical assessment on its own. To diagnose it specifically, you do need a diagnostic ultrasound scan or an MRI scan to be able to actually image the region to find out if you've got a retrocalcaneal bursitis. The treatment of retrocalcaneal bursitis is mainly going to be physiotherapy. That's going to involve some strengthening exercises. It may also involve some taping. But if things aren't improving, then we must consider an ultrasound guided steroid injection. Because it's an itis, i.e. a bursitis, steroid, which is a strong anti-inflammatory, can be very useful for settling down the pain and the inflammation. This can help to give you a window of opportunity to try and engage a little bit more in the physiotherapy and the strengthening exercises, but obviously with less pain.